This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install an EVGA a NVIDIA RTX 2080 graphics card into a Dell Precision T7810 workstation. So if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. Um, you go to GreenPCGamers.com. Um, and if you have a Precision T7810, um, you'll want to go to this blog page. And search articles for T7810. Uh, there will be an article that will pop up called Make My Precision T7810 Into a Gaming Computer. You want to click on that. And this page has a bunch of awesome links and upgrade ideas for upgrading your T7810 workstation. Um, all the way from processors to uh, graphics cards, memory, NVMe, um, accessories. So use this page uh, as a resource. Um, also, we will be posting the link to the RTX graphics card that we're going to install in this video. So if you want to emulate this video um, by installing this RTX 2080 graphics card, um, you'll be able to find that link on this page. So let's get to the actual install. So before you decide to copy this install, um, you're going to want to make sure that you have an A25 watt power supply installed into your T7810. Um, the RTX 2080 graphics card recommends a minimum of a 650 watt power supply. Um, so we're just, we're going to make sure we have that 825 watt installed uh, just so we have plenty of power so we don't have any intermittent shutdowns while we are gaming or doing some sort of other high end computing. So here's our T7810 workstation. Um, and you can see we need a couple adapter cables to supply power to the RTX 2080 graphics card. Uh, we need one times SATA power to six pin male and two times six pin female to eight pin male. And we will post uh, links to those on greenpcgamers.com as well if you need to buy those adapter cables. All right, here's our graphics card. It is manufactured by EVGA and it requires one six pin and one eight pin power adapter. Um, we've got a bunch of awesome connections on here. It looks like three display ports, uh, HDMI, and it uh, looks like a mini display port as well. All right, so put your system on its side after you've unplugged it. Remove your side panel like we just showed you. Now we're going to install the graphics card into the blue PCIe X16 slot. This card's going to eat up two PCI slots. And... There is our dual six pin and our SATA power connection from the optical cable that we are going to steal power from. All right, so let's plug our power in or our power adapter cables into the cables. So we're first we're going to do our six pin, dual six pin female to eight pin. And we're going to use the two six pin connectors that are standard on the system if you have the 25 watt power supply. All right, so that is set up, and then we are going to steal from the optical drive slot. And this is just a SATA power to six pin. Now you might be thinking, oh, I can just use two six pin to eight pin adapters. Uh, we've tried it. It, it caused issues. Um, whether we, we were doing a 2080 or a 1080 or a 1080 Ti, it had problems. So we definitely recommend copying the power adapters that we are using. So here's our 2080. It's a pretty heavy card. We still have to remove a little bit because this was a new card on this install. All you do is line this card up and it's pretty heavy. Um, once you line it up with that blue PCI Express slot, um, it'll drop right into place like so. And then we'll put our little blue clips to lock it into place. Now all we need to do is plug our power adapters in. So we've got our SATA to six pin, plug that in first. And then our dual six pin to eight pin. And we'll go ahead and plug that in. Pretty simple. The, the toughest part about this install is actually the power adapters because then the car doesn't come with these power adapters. So um, just knowing that these work is very helpful. So now um, we just need to put our side panel back on. And you just start from the bottom and then it'll clip right in on the top. And this card fits perfectly in the system. All right, so once you have the card installed, um, you want to go to NVIDIA.com and get the latest driver 
or if you have a preferred driver uh, that you want to use. So go to NVIDIA.com, click on Drivers, and there is an option that will pop up right away. And we can pick the RTX 2080. It's pretty easy to find. Or you can use the Auto Detector GPU. It just takes a little bit longer to install it that way. So download it, install it, and definitely recommend going with the GeForce Experience as well um, to optimize your games. And it'll give you that option when you download. Um, it gives you options to optimize your games based off of your hardware. So it's kind of a cool feature that you can use. All right, so um, we're going to pause this for a second. We did a benchmark using a GTX 1080 Ti and the RTX 2080 to see how they compared. Now, this is a little bit blurry, so I apologize. Um, but um, if you can see this, you, you might want to pause and zoom in. On the left, we have the 1080 Ti. On the right, we have the 2080. And and we use the same exact test bed. So procs, memory, drives, everything's the same other than the graphics card. And we used a, uh, a benchmark called Furmark. And so what we found out is the 1080 Ti, it, it runs a little bit warmer, two degrees warmer. Um, and again, I should say this, we did this with a uh, 1440p test. So for both 1440p, so pretty high-end test. Both graded at over 100 frames per second, um, but the 2080 just barely beat the 1080 Ti. Um, overall, though, like that right now, if, you, if you're able to even find a 1080 Ti, you're going to spend about the same as a 2080. So overall, like even if it's a frame or two better like it is in this case, it uh, runs a little bit cooler. Um, if you don't already have a card um, and you have the money for a 2080, uh, definitely uh, slightly better than a 1080 Ti. If you already have a 1080 Ti, uh, this just shows you it's not worth upgrading from a 1080 Ti to a RX 2080. You'd probably want to go to a RX 2080 Ti, uh, which we'll be doing in a later video. So, all in all, pretty good card. Uh, pretty easy to install if you have the adapters like we show you. Um, definitely check out greenpcgamers.com for other content. If this video was helpful to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, we do monthly giveaways on our Facebook page. All you have to do is go to greenpcgamers.com and like our Facebook page to qualify. Thank you so much for watching.